one. Today we've got a really interesting problem about a polynomial. f of x is a polynomial of degree 5 with a leading coefficient unity such that f of 1 is 5, f of 2 is 4, f of 3 is 3, f of 4 is 2, f of 5 is 1. The question is, what does f of 6 equal to? And this was actually a multiple choice uh, question, but I've gotten rid of the options just to make this slightly more interesting. Do have a go at this problem. I'm going to dive right into a solution. One thing I notice is we've got a polynomial of degree 5. Oh, you can't see my 5. 5 there. There we go. And we have six bits of information. We have this bit. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the sixth bit of information is that it's got leading coefficient unity. So in other words, it's a monic polynomial. The leading coefficient has co uh, the, the leading term sorry, has coefficient 1. And the question is, what is f of 6? Hmm. Well, my first thought is, well, can I come up with a polynomial that fits this criteria? Because we've got six bits of information here, and we have a polynomial of degree 5. And it turns out that if you have a polynomial of degree n, and you have n plus 1 bits of information about that polynomial, you can uniquely determine that polynomial. And I've literally been a bit vague there. Um, I haven't really define what I really mean by bits of uh, information. Um, but do uh, look into this if you've not seen this before. In fact, I've made a video series about this called Lagrange Interpolating Polynomials. So do check that out if you haven't before. Anyway, let's dive in here. How do we do this? The first thing we're going to do is look at these guys here, because it's really interesting. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then the numbers on the other side, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Can I think of a function that satisfies that? And yes, I can. A function that goes that, that is 6 minus x. That satisfies all of these three conditions here. And so from that, I can immediately deduce that, therefore, my function f of x in the question must be 6 minus x plus some multiple, so a being an arbitrary constant, of x minus 1 times x minus 2 times x minus 3 times x minus 4 times x minus 5, like so. So this function f of x in the question has to be 6 minus x plus a multiple of this polynomial here. How do I know that? Well, this is using the fact that this polynomial must be unique. And in fact, this polynomial here satisfies these conditions here. And by choosing a suitable value for a, which I'll do in a second, I can also get it to satisfy that condition there. What value of a should I choose? Well, I should just choose a as 1, because if a is 1, um, this whole thing here, well, that's polynomial of degree 5, and it'll be x to the 5 uh, with some other stuff. And then this thing here won't affect the coefficient of x to the 5. So I'm going to choose a to be 1, so just get rid of it there. And that's our polynomial f of x. And now it's very simple. What is f of 6 equal to? f of 6 is just 6 minus 6, which is 0, plus 6 minus 1 is 5, 6 minus 2 is 4, times 3, times 2, times 1, which is 5 factorial, or in other words, 120. A pretty cool result using a pretty cool fact about interpolating polynomials. Lots of students here, I imagine, would have attempted this problem by doing some ugly stuff with simultaneous equations, which you might have been able to get to the answer in the end, but would have taken a while. If you are someone who's looking to prepare for the TMUA, MAT, perhaps interviews for Oxbridge, do get in touch. I'm a full-time mathematics tutor with an extremely high success rate. Uh, last year, 12 of my 13 students ended up receiving offers from Oxbridge, uh, and I have an, an average over 80% success rate. Do get in touch today. Link in the description below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.